Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again, and today we have in front of us from Masters of the Universe Origins Scareglow. So there you have it. Um, I put this guy in front of the window for a little moment so that he, we can show a bit of the gimmick on the review, and yeah, you have the usual card. Um, I ordered two of these guys and well i'm gonna open this because the, well the comic is all smashed there like all tw all yeah all wrong the guy is looking to the side and whatever the other guys from the wave are well of course human and skeletor but you have also many faces and trap jaw as well as orco all of which i have none yet well, just him and Skeletor, of course, but the ones with the vintage head. I mean, we have an amazing artwork here, and it says with a comic book and all of that. And yeah, that would be it. And of course, it's it kind of indicates you how to use his gimmick, which is quite straightforward. So I'm just gonna take this guy out of the packaging, and we'll continue in a moment. So there we have Scare Glow and all that he comes with, uh, including this little comic, which is just, uh, well, I had to almost cut uh, all the edges because it was like trapped between the plastic and the actual card. And yeah, here you have him. Uh, I have it like this because just as I was taking him out of the packaging, the arm popped off. Uh, maybe it's a bit stiff, so I don't know. And also, uh, the head, I mean, yeah, because I was taking the cape off and the head just uh, popped. So there you have him. I wanted to show that this halberd came all twisted, so I prepared some hot water to... Yeah, to fix that. In the meanwhile, well, you have this guy, his cape is uh, nothing... Well, it's made out of plastic, it has this texture, which, yeah, just adds... I mean, when I just first received the figure, I was, ah, it's a fabric pla uh, cape. No, it's, it's uh, just flexible plastic, but uh, I guess the the texture helps it to look a bit more like fabric, you know? And maybe it also helps if you want to give it a wash or something, maybe it will catch a lot of the paint. So there you have him, the body is the same as a skeletal figure, just without the armor, but with the cape. And he has I don't know if it's actually the same, well it's not the same head, but here I have a Skeletor with the vintage head. I don't know if it's like the same head base, just this one has this, car, this crack on the top, and I mean on the forehead, but uh, yeah, it's also like a skull head, you know. The movement, he can do 90 degrees on the shoulders, he can turn all the way around with an angle because of the way the arms are pegged into the body. Um, the head has uh, can look up that much, down that much. Well, let me take this out of here because it's distracting. Um, yeah, this halberd weapon came all bent as I told you the 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 grip the the whole pole it's bent so I think that will be enough so I just wanted to straighten it at least a bit you know I think that that kind of will do Well, that would be his weapon, which has, a, well, yeah, very simple sculpt. I don't know if it's if it's exactly the same sculpt as in the 80s, 
but I guess it should be the same or very similar, yeah? Let's leave that there for a moment. So I wish so the arms, the the forearms have the usual movement on the elbows. They can go all the way around and they have almost 90. It has just one click, but it, it allows for some posing. And you can, of course, like in any figure of this line, you can leave it halfway the clip, the clicks, you know. He comes with an open hand and a gripping hand, just as a basic skeletal figure does. You can turn all the way around the hips, the, the, the waist, I mean. I guess you can, yeah, pop this guy off, you know, the, his, uh, the waist. You can have him flying around like the ghost of perdition or something like that. Mm, the legs can do the splits that far. They can kick. Well, they can't. They they can kick forward that much. So he can make have some action. The knees can. They have like ninety degrees about 90 degrees is not exactly but kind of uh, of bend they have some twist to the side but because of the sculpt it's a bit limited if you want to allow for more maybe you will have to cut to make some clearance for the lower part you know well in between both parts the boot can go all the way around and uh, the feet are the same the skeleton the boots as well and many other characters actually and yeah he, he has this ankle tilt and can go that much to the back that much to the front let me put him back together and give him his weapon this is one I was also very yeah I mean when I started watching reviews of this line myself I was like damn uh, now I'm, they have had like four waves already or something like that and I'm just about to start and and this guy was nowhere to be found now they restocked here in Germany and it was quite easy to get for the normal retail price which here is like 15 or 16 euro you know some somewhere around there tax included uh, so there, there you have Scareglow. It's just another. I mean, the the body is the like the same body almost every figure has in the Masters of the Universe Origins line. But that's part of the the charm of this line. And he, yeah, again, I I think he's also a must get because of the cool gimmick and the. The colorfulness and the sorry and my English I'm pronouncing all like shit. Anyway, here we have Skeletor for a comparison between the two school evil guys, you know. Let me turn the lights off. Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah. Here we have Eveline because she's also pale. <laughs> well, this is the second release. I don't have the first release and I don't know if I need it because I, I don't know if I'm like a completionist or I just want to have the ones I like and one of each character kind of. Here we have Mosquito because he's just one of my favorites again. Very cool character and yeah looking good and let me just bring to the mix even if he's not part of this metalhead because it's a recent arrival as well and I'm very fond of this character and figure because I had him as a kid which is not the case for the masters of the universe figures I don't even remember if I had any at all as a 
kid I did watch the cartoon but it was more like my older brother was well he he was there when the cartoon was I'm sure he had a he-man at least and maybe something else but I don't know if I even had any but but I like the line and I like the, the characters and I did watch some of the cartoon when I was a kid so that's that's it for this review let me end it properly please subscribe to the channel leave a like if this video helped you I mean again I really recommend getting this figure just look at that feature it's a cool one uh, subscribe to the channel leave a like if this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one ciao ciao ciao